T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and lift off. 5, 10, 3, 4. You're listening to The Twisted 10, bringing you original and unique post-created top 10 lists recorded live in world-famous Cocoa Beach, Florida with hosts Tack Van Sickle and Adam Poston. Welcome to The Twisted 10. I am one of your hosts, Adam, and over to my right is Tack. How are you doing, Tack? What's up? Yeah. This is a top 10 list that is generated, that is a host-generated top 10 list. This is not something we yank off the internet, uh, and it's our own derivatives of what we find interesting and poignant to give to our audience. Indeed. So welcome to episode number four. Thank you. So each week, one of the hosts comes up with a list and delivers it on air live with spontaneity to the other host or to the guests that happen to be in the studio. That's this right, Adam. This week you're hosting. Yep. I have no idea what topic you brought to the table. So I kind of teased a little bit in episode number three. And if you didn't get the tease, I don't really remember what the tease was. But if you didn't get it in the tease. <laughs> I don't even remember what the tease was. Either. This week is the top ten conspiracy theories with a twist. Oh, oh so it's like it'll play on the twisted ten. Yes. It, oh, it is. I see what you did there. I didn't see even think about did that. There. I didn't even think about I mean, yes, that is exactly <laughs> what I meant when I came up with the <laughs> right. top ten conspiracy theories Good with a twist. Good job, Adam. You want to know the twist is? I don't mind telling the twist up front. Because okay. you can think about this as we go through the top ten. So we're going to M. Night this? Okay. A little bit. So this is the top ten that I found that I found most interesting. Top ten conspiracy theories. The twist is two out of these top ten turn out to be true. Ooh. Yes. So do we have to guess at the end? Yeah. Or I, I have to guess? You're going to have to guess. It's just me Us, and you. Well, me and the listeners. <laughs> yes. Okay. I won't say anything until the very end, but two of these top ten lists, two of these top ten conspiracy theories is true. Cool. L- let me preface this by saying, because some of what Tack and I do for a living, uh, government related, these are conspiracy theories. These are internet finds. This is not mine and tax personal opinions. So these, <laughs> right, right. we need to make sure we clarify that right now. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, getting that liability out of the way. So let's jump right off with <clears throat> one of the most outstanding uh, conspiracy theories that I've heard in a long time. Okay. And a lot of these tack you're probably going to know. Okay. Um, or have heard of them before, a couple of them. I guarantee you you haven't, uh, but let's go with it anyway. So number 10 on the top 10 conspiracy theories with a twist is the moon landing. The conspiracy right. theory is that we never actually landed on the moon back in the 60s, right. that it actually never happened. Conspiracy theories, uh, theorists tear apart the photos and video citing evidence of photo alteration, uh, no stars in the background, no photos of the gear left on the moon. So you know the moon has no atmosphere. Zero atmosphere. Correct. All right. So one of the one of the proofs that the conspiracy theorists cite is that the flag when planted, the American flag, flutters as if it's in the wind. Right, right, right. All right. I watched Mythbusters, the whole episode where they debunk yeah. this completely and of course that we've gone to the moon. Absolutely. Yeah, uh there's I mean Granted, at the time of the original conspiracy theories came out, they might not have had uh, uh, good photos of the equipment that's left on the on the moon. But it's very evident on many NASA websites now that you can see the lander that's still there, the the vehicle. Right. You mm-hmm. can see where the, the tracks are yeah, still there. The foot, yeah, because there's no wind and there's nothing mm-hmm. on the the surface of the moon that's going to cause anything. So all the footprints, all of the tracks of the vehicles made, everything is still there. Yep. Not so. to mention that the mirror that's also placed on the surface yep. as well that we send a laser to and it returns. Yep. So it wouldn't do that otherwise. Uh, also, if you ask Buzz Aldrin about this as a, a journalist did a few years back uh, about the conspiracy about not landing on the moon, you might get socked in the face as did this <laughs> journalist. But this guy got asked Buzz Aldrin Buzz, man. <laughs> and he straight decked this guy. Old Buzz yeah. Aldrin. This wasn't young whippersnapper. This is old Buzz Aldrin. No, no. He punched this guy right in the face. Buzz Aldrin's an interesting character. I mean, I believe absolutely that he punched him in the face. <laughs> That's not surprising <laughs> at all. And uh, what's cool about him is that he's also, you know, you start talking about UFOs and shit with him. And he speaks a little... Uh, like, hey, I heard the U.S. government, uh, you know, has aliens and, you know, alien technology over Air 51. Hey, hey, don't be jumping ahead in my, uh, my Sorry, top ten list anyway, here. Anyway, he, uh, <laughs> he'll be one of those, well, I can't confirm, 
or deny, but I've seen yeah. some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. All right. Uh, so let's, that was number 10. Number nine on the top 10 conspiracy theories with a twist is Big Brother. And I'm not talking about the mo- the, the reality show. I'm talking about <laughs> right. the government called Big spying, Brother. Spying, the government spying in. Yep. On- it's also called Deep State. <laughs> Deep State sounds like a porn. Mm. Uh, or Shadow Government or Government in Waiting. Essentially, this is a government or a continuity of government that's put in place uh, in certain cases, like if there's a nuclear uh, uh, war that happens or if there's uh, uh, an impact from an asteroid or some some kind of major catastrophe in the U.S. or terrorist attack or anything that's in real situations that could occur, this government in waiting or Big Brother or Deep State comes out and takes over and takes effect. So one of the the quotes that they used to cite this is that during 9-11, mm-hmm. this shadow government stepped in and took over until, you know, everything was brought back down to normal situations to where, you know, normal government could take back over and run the country as it was supposed to. So huh. that's a conspiracy. It's not right now. It's not recognized as being accurate, but that's a conspiracy right, theory right. that is out there. I gotcha. Okay. It says since the end of the since the end of the Cold War, the policies and procedures for COG or continuity of government have been altered according to realistic threats of that time. These includes but are not limited to possible coup or overthrow, mm-hmm. uh, terrorist groups or terrorist attacks in general, an assassination, nuclear attacks, and so on. So this is currently labeled as Big Brother or Deep State. Very interesting oh. conspiracy theory. Yeah, I've never heard that one. All right. All right, number eight. The CIA created AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard this one either. But. Con- this conspiracy theory is that the CIA created AIDS in order to wipe out homosexuals and African Americans. Uh, wow. Suggests that vaccines administered in the U.S. by the U.S. government actually contain the disease. Hmm. However, the conspiracy theorists are divided in concluding when the CIA actually administered the disease in said vaccines, with one theory being that it was created in military labs before deliberately injected into gay men during the 1978 hepatitis B experiments in parts of America. Hmm. So the CIA created well, AIDS. When we Conspiracy were theory. younger, uh-huh. AIDS was like huge back then. Like, um, Yeah, way more popular. Now it's just like, meh. Yeah, like now you're hearing anything about AIDS anymore. You well, it's know? livable now. We've talked about that in the past. It's, yeah. it's livable. I wouldn't say curable unless you've got <laughs> millions of dollars to throw at it, but it's it's livable. You can survive and have a, a normal, healthy life. Right. They like tattoo that shit in our brains. Like, <sighs> sorry. They tattooed that shit in our brains. You know, like we're going to get AIDS. You know, you'll get AIDS. You know, be protected. You know, watch out for sex. You know, and now we all started thinking, well, they didn't try to scare us just to stay in virgins, you yeah. know? You know, because, like, back then, like, we never knew anybody with AIDS. Yeah, know? AIDS was the scariest thing to, to our generation of youth, for sure. Yeah. And then now, you don't even hear anything about it anymore. It's All crazy. Right. Agreed. And we were told that that it was created in a lab, you know? Yep. Yeah, some of the conspiracy some scientists theories. scientists fucked up. Yep. And then made it. Injected himself with it, went home, slept with his wife, and next thing you know, it's an epidemic. There are parts of this conspiracy theory, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of, uh, I'll, I'll dip into some of the more unbelievable parts, not necessarily some of the believable parts, but some of the unbelievable parts were that this uh, HIV was and AIDS were created uh, in monkeys originally in labs, hmm. and then monkeys interspecies had sex with humans. And that's how humans got Ooh. the disease. They didn't think that it was contractable between monkeys and humans, but it ends up it was. And that's how the disease spread even further from from. So Agent why Zero. were they sleeping with monkeys? I, I, I don't, man, scientists, they'll do some crazy things. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, I heard that scientists are, have lonely weekends, but. <laughs> uh, you know. It's all about the experiment, man. <laughs> All right, so that was number eight. Number seven on the top ten conspiracy theories with a twist is the Hollow Earth conspiracy theory. Have you ever I've heard this? I've heard of Hollow Moon, but not Hollow nope. Earth. Hollow Earth. All right, so some conspiracy theorists believe that the Earth is actually hollow, able to be accessed using an entrance on the South Pole. And theoretically with this, is it could also be accessed on the North Pole as well. Maybe that's where Santa Claus lives. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> 
Apparently, it's a secret that multiple governments have been trying to keep from us for centuries. To support this theory, there have been experiments in zero gravity labs in space, up in you know up in our our space station, yeah. to see what happens to a rotating sphere of liquid. This is actually really cool to watch. If you take a, 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 a rotating mass of liquid and fill that mass of liquid with like I think they were showing segments, little pieces of sand or little pieces of yogurt, which is partially fluid and partially solid. Uh, and right. then also a little bit of air, so some sort of condensed air inside that bubble, and then set it to rotate, so spin it in zero gravity. So this is this is as if our Earth was. Mm-hmm. Um, our Earth is also made and molten has molten core center, so that's the center of the Earth, which gives us our poles. Has nougat to it. <coughs> Excuse me. What has nougat? <laughs> nougat, nougat like a like has a, a nougat candy center? bar. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the interesting thing that happens when you watch this sphere. Uh, spin in in these experiments that are documented on YouTube. You can go and see them. I mean, they're probably yeah. documented in real science labs, but you can <laughs> right, see them on, right, right, on YouTube. Right, gotcha. um, what happens over time, this doesn't happen right away, but it takes you know several minutes for this to happen inside this rotating sphere of liquid, is that it creates poles. So it creates a, a artificial gravity poles, north and south pole. Mm-hmm. And between those poles, the oxygen or gas condenses into a tube or tunnel-like structure towards the center and it stays dead in the center leaving a hollow sphere going through the center and on the outside of this liquid that's rotating are the solids and then throughout the inside of it are the amorphous solids or the partially solid partially liquid like the yogurt right so the sand goes to the outside and stays at the outside of the bubble maybe like our crust of earth right the amorphous solid or magma Magma, would sit somewhere in between and the gas stays at the very center or oxygen Mm -hmm. would stay at the very center of the earth, leaving that structure in that experiment in multiple experiments hollow. So the theory behind it is that even though our core could be made up of molten magma or molten iron Mm -hmm. is what scientists are are saying that there could be uh, an interior that is livable and maybe even uh, uh, lit by some sort of fusion reaction inside that molten core. So there is a potential that the theory could have some basis behind it. And remember, two of these are true. Right. So I've heard that there's a theory that the moon was also hollow, too, because it, it rang like a bell. And it just kept ringing, kept ringing, almost as if like it was hollow. Um, how, how did it? ring how did he get struck um, i to be forget wrong? i think something had hit it like an asteroid or something like that huh. and they have like a seismograph like on the moon and so but it just kept going hmm. you know and they were just like what this says this is reacting as if like it's hollow like a bell you know and so it just it was it was a theory and it still is they're still looking into it now my question to you is so why is that a conspiracy theory like it's just a theory from what i would gather Meaning, like, well, the conspiracy is that the governments would be hiding it from us. Why? What's what are they gaining from that? Uh, a place to stick stuff. I I don't know. I your guess is as good as mine on that. I couldn't like a vault. You mean? Yeah, it's a it's the Earth's vault. (laughs) I guess. I I don't know. That's a good question. It's an interesting theory, though. It does a could be a place to go during an apocalypse, and certain governments want to control it. Could it's a, a advantageous place to? Uh, travel to the other side of the earth a lot faster. Um, I don't know. It is a good question. I don't well, know. I mean, you could have done that anyway with a solid earth. I mean, still, it's going to take a long, it's not like it's super easy to get through. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's hard. It's a still, it's a long distance, you know? All right. So that was number cool. seven. That was interesting. Though. Number six on the top 10 conspiracy theories with a twist is planet X or Nibiru. Have you ever heard of this one before? Um, I'm not sure. Keep going. This, this is an unbelievable conspiracy that's out there. Now, this has existed for quite some time and has some latest news to support it, which is pretty okay. interesting. Latest NASA scientific news. The Nibiru cataclysm is a supposed disastrous encounter between Earth and a large planetary object, either a collision or a near miss, which certain groups believe will take place in the early 21st century. So we're in the 21st century now, Tack. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Believers in this doomsday event usually refer to this object as Planet X or Nibiru. Now, Planet X was originally its name because there were nine planets already identified. Planet X or Planet 10 would have been this Nibiru. Now that they've debunked debunked Pluto as a planet, it's no longer a planet, it's a planetoid object. Uh, This Mm -hmm. would be Planet 9. 
um, which leads me to my next topic here in just a second. Um, some of the other conspiracies behind Nibiru is that it's inhabited by lizard-like people and has an atmosphere of gold dust. That's how it can be so far away from the sun, orbiting our sun. The orbit is between 10 and 20,000 so, years, what you and I are conventionally used to. Where's this Nibiru? It orbits our sun, mm-hmm. but it orbits our sun at a orbit like Earth takes one 364 days, unless it's right. leap year, 365 days. Leap day. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. To circumvent the sun. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. So this takes ten between 10 and 20,000 years to make it around that the sun in this for one cycle. So way the fuck out there. And it's supposed to tra- pass between Earth and somewhere between Earth and Saturn, I think, is its, its path. And okay. this next intersection is supposed to be so close to Earth that it's going to be a doomsday effect for us. Hmm. Size of this planet is supposed to be five times larger than Earth currently. Holy shit. So this is going to be something, if it's real, that we'll be able to see with from... Yeah, we'll be theoretically. Able to see it. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, so the other interesting part about this is now, so this, this conspiracy theory has been around for years, like dating mm-hmm. back to the seventies, 1970s. So in 2016, I think that it was discovered in 2015, but it was published by NASA in 2016. And this isn't affiliated with NASA in any stretch of the imagination. This is just conspiracy theories and articles found on the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, NASA released some information regarding a, uh, scientific evidence of planet number nine. It has a mass of about 10 times that of Earth and orbits 20 times further from the sun than Neptune. Uh, That means it would take a new planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years to make one full orbit around the sun, according to Caltech. Essentially, NASA has discovered character traces in our solar system on how gravity pulls on everything in our solar system Mm -hmm. that they have shown evidence of the existence of a ninth official ninth larger planet. ninth planet. Yes, that is out there. So now NASA has all the data that they need to mm-hmm. identify where this planet is, if it's coming or going in its orbit, and they're now just looking for it. So they have the details of what they – they've already got the evidence to prove so that I'm it's real. I'm guessing that there's some sort of wobble, I'm guessing. Correct, yeah, something. I don't. Yeah. We need our boy Derek to call in on this one. But, yes, there's <laughs> something in, in, in there. That will, in the evidence that NASA and the scientists around the world have, have found that proves that that part of it is absolutely true. So that's a teaser. That doesn't necessarily mean this is one of the two that are true out of the top ten. Right, right, right. But NASA is supporting this conspiracy theory okay. so far with the existence of this planet. Okay. All right. So that is ten through six. We're going to take a break. Um, All right. We will be back in just a minute to round up the top five and the top five tack. Yeah. Get rather interesting. So, <laughs> all right, we'll be right awesome. back. Check out our new sponsor, Last Drop Vape. They make a premium e liquid line that is simply fantastic. I vape a lot and use Last Drop Vape's blueberry and strawberry cream. They also have a chocolate that is spot. On. All of Last Drop Vape's premium e-liquids are proudly made in the USA. Their e-juice is bottled in a clean, certified, laboratory used in 100% FDA compliant machinery, meeting AEMSA standards and future FDA regulations. Visit them at lastdropvape.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash lastdropvape. If you are interested in becoming a distributor, you can contact them at their website under the wholesaler section. Welcome back to the Twisted Ten. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna go over the the last five, just the titles on each one of them. I'm excited. This is a uh, very fascinating top ten conspiracy theories with a twist. Number ten was the moon landing. Number nine was Big Brother. Mm-hmm. Number eight was the CIA created AIDS. Number seven is the Hollow Earth. Number six is Planet X or Nibiru. And we're also to be to be reminded that two of these have been proven true. Correct. Not necessarily of those six or of those five, but two of these top ten are true. All right, so let's jump right in. Number five of the top ten conspiracies, conspiracy theories with a twist, is 9-11. So, now I'm not going to go into all of the details on Mm 9-11, but we'll go into a couple. Um, A May 2006 Zogby poll found that 42% of Americans believe that the government 
and the 9-11 Commission, quote, concealed or refused to investigate critical evidence that contradicts their official explanation of the September 11th attacks. All right. So the conspiracy behind this is that the government orchestrated and assisted in the 9-11 attacks. Mm -hmm. Now, let me preface this by saying, because some of what Tack and I do for a living, uh, government related, these are conspiracy theories. These are internet finds. This is not mine and tax personal opinions. So these, <laughs> right, right. we need to make sure we clarify that right now. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, getting that liability out of the way, mm-hmm. um, some of the conspiracy theories that are out there is that uh, jets were not scrambled, like attack jets, fighter jets were not scrambled in time to you know shoot the other planes out of the sky that were not uh, uh, agreeing to land or or right. going in for emergency landings at other other airports. Um, and the most damning evidence of all is it, for the conspiracy theories is that during the the towers falling, and I know this is sensitive to a lot of people out there. It is to me too. I've got some friends that that were had some loved ones that died in, in those attacks. Mm-hmm. But the conspiracy theory states that in the towers, if you watch the explosion footage, you can actually see controlled deaths. Have you ever watched a controlled death of a big building before? Right, right, right. You can yeah. see controlled deaths going off all the way down the one of the towers mm-hmm. just before it falls. And that's indicative of a controlled debt, so a tower falls in the correct direction, so it doesn't fall over a you know a building falls yeah, outside yeah. of where it's supposed to fall. Because mm-hmm. it, it, I mean, the irony of it falling straight down is pretty damning. So the conspiracy that I'm focusing on here is that the government had something to do with the attacks and the the towers that fell. Um, now the other part of this right. that's really kind of curious. So we know the two attacks on the building, the the, the, the towers in New York. We know about the one in uh, uh, the Pentagon, and we know about the the landing, uh, the one that crashed in the field in Pennsylvania that was believed is supposed to go to the White House or whatever. Yeah. There was another building in New York that also collapsed. Uh, building 5? Yeah. Something? Also part of the Trade Center. Yeah. Not directly beside either one of the two big ones that fell. So what caused that one to fall? So mm-hmm. part of the conspiracy is that they wanted all of them to go down. And the other part of the conspiracy theory is that the government had everything to do with it and orchestrated it from the beginning. Yeah, I've obviously I've heard this conspiracy. <clears throat> Can't have a conspiracy theory show without talking a little bit of nine eleven. I mean, you just kind of have to. <laughs> right, I knew it was going to come up. Yeah, and I was a little concerned about it coming up, not because it's sensitive material, because it is. Because nobody's doubting that people didn't perish. In, right. Yeah. In this, you know, and sensitivity awful. aside, I mean, we're we're compassionate right. people. We're not. Uh, we're not trying to debunk or or discredit any of the heroes that were trying to to help people on those days, but right now I'm first of all I'm a huge patriot. I love my country. Absolutely, uh, I'm all for the troops. I was in the military. I'm a veteran myself. But then, like, I started looking into this conspiracy thing on 9/11, and I was like, this that's horseshit. You know, I'm thinking government yeah. now. There's no way. And then you start looking more into it and more into it and more into it, and you're like. At first, you're just like, no, you know, it's kind of like hearing like your dad like did something wrong or your mom did. Yeah. You don't want to believe it. You're you don't like, want to believe it. You're yep. like, no, my, my dad would never do that or my mom would never do that. You know, it's my mom. It's my dad. They yeah. would never behave that way, you know? And it's like, same thing. Like my government would never do that to our people or, you know, there's no way. And then, then you start hearing more. You start learning more and you're like, holy shit. Yeah. Maybe the government isn't who I think it is. I didn't include it on this list. However, the JFK <clears throat> thing is another one that came up in a lot of the research right. that I was doing. Same and I mean, they've thing. done movies on it. They've done, you know, all sorts of ridiculous stuff. And, and the, the mafia's uh, the thing involvement. that's going on right now, too, with the uh, the whole uh, Hulu 112263. I have no idea what that is. What? Yeah, no clue. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you have Hulu? No. Oh, you should get Hulu. Is that with JFK? Well, okay, what it is is uh, – really? You haven't heard? Okay, no. anyway. Okay, so what it is, it's a – well, originally it was a book by Stephen King called 112263. Um, and um, I think that's the date that JFK was shot, I think. Anyway. Um, We're not history buffs. Um, anyway, what the book is about, and now it's a miniseries on Hulu. It's an eight-part miniseries, and they're releasing them weekly. Right now, those first two episodes are out right now. Anyway, it stars uh, James Franco. And what it is, it's it's really awesome. It's so cool. And Ron's been talking about it for months, waiting yeah. for this to come out. He didn't talk about it on here. Oh, that's weird. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it's a really cool story. What it is is about this guy who, um, well, James Franco is friends with this um, diner owner guy. 
And then um, this diner owner is basically dying. He has cancer. And so he shows him. Um, he says, I want you to go into this closet, walk around for a minute, and come out and tell me what you think. And he's like, you want me to just go into this closet and come out? He's like, yeah, just go in. Just fucking go in there. And he's like, all right. So as soon as he walks into this closet, he's like, okay. So he takes another step. All of a sudden, he's in 1960. Huh. At a certain day in a certain time, a certain place. Always the same. And then he's like, whoa. And then people can see him. He reacts with him, you know. And he's just like, what the hell? So then he walks back and goes back in and returns out of the closet back in present day. When he comes out of the closet, does he have a lisp? <laughs> so um, so what it is is like, what the hell is that? And he's like, when he tells him the date that it is and all that, you know, it's a certain date. And every time you go in, you always go into that specific time, day, place, always. You know, anytime you come back and you go back in, it resets. So, and any, no matter how long you're in there, it doesn't matter how long you're in there, it's only two minutes pass in present time. Huh. It's, so you can be there for 30 years. doesn't matter. You come out, it's only two minutes past past. So, um, and that's why I like how he first discovered because the old man went in. Well, well, you don't know it, but he's at the diner eating at the diner and he pours him coffee and he comes back over, gives him a check and he looks old as fuck and he's like dying. He's like, what the hell happened to you? And he's like, just like a few minutes ago, you seemed fine. Yeah. Now, you know. And he explains it because he went in and was gone for like years and came back, you know. Huh. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> so he says, the whole point of the story, I am keep skipping around it. He says, I need you to go in there and prevent the assassination of JFK. And he's like, why? He's like, you know, th- you know things happen for a reason, da 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 And then basically his whole reason for doing it is if he stops the assassination, then Vietnam won't happen. And his buddies that he was in Vietnam with won't be killed. Huh. And so, and these were good people, and you know, that kind of thing, you know. And uh, so the whole story is him trying to do this. And trying it, to prevent it from happening. It, it's so awesome so hmm. far. It's so cool. Andrea's got that. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to <clears throat> borrow her account and try it. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. Check okay. it out. Definitely. Anyway. All right, cool. So number five, 9-11. And the, the, the part of that conspiracy is not the whole <laughs> thing of 9-11. It's just... The government's direct involvement in 9-11. Right, 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 right. Did the government We're influence... We're not doubting it, yeah. Right, did the government influence 9-11. All right, so number four on the top ten conspiracies with a twist, the Tuskegee Syphilis Study. The U.S. government in Corden... Have you ever heard of this one? No, I mean, is this Tuskegee Airmen? Similar. Uh, the U.S., I think, uh, the U.S. government in coordination with the Tuskegee University in Alabama purposely infected... African American males with syphilis to study the differences throughout their life uh, from a black man's immune system to a white man's immune system. This experiment ran from 1932 to 1972 and involved nearly 400 impoverished and poorly educated African American males. Uh, for 40 years, they were never told they had syphilis and were never treated for it, even though penicillin became a standard cure in 1947, just not even 10 years. Or, well, just a little over 10 years after they were originally uh, unknowingly uh, given this disease. For participating in the study, the men received free rides to and from the clinic at Tuskegee University in Alabama. They were given hot meals and free medical treatment for minor ailments, obviously not for this one. Any treatments they thought they were also getting for their, quote, bad blood were actually placebos, aspirin, mineral supplements, things like that. Medical staff allowed nothing to interfere with their work. Even when 250 of the 400 men were drafted for service in the Second World War, the government stepped in and made them remain part of the study instead. So they waved them out of the draft, that 250, 250 wow. guys. You've never heard of the Tuskegee experiment before? Um, Don't be looking shit up no, on no, my no, conspiracy no, list. No, 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 no. I'm, right. not, I'm not. I'm looking up something else, something for... Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I actually... I think I have heard of this before, but... I don't know much about it. So I've learned okay. more within the past couple of minutes than I. All right. All right. Yeah. So 1932 to 1972. That's the the conspiracy theory. All right. So that was number four. Number three in the top 10 conspiracy theories with a twist. Area 51. <laughs> nice. Yep. So conspiracy theories, uh, theorists believe, I've said that, done that every time, conspiracy theorists believe that the remains of a crashed UFO mm-hmm. and its uh, inhabitants 
are stored at Area 51 in an Air Force base about 150 miles from Las Vegas, where government scientists reverse engineer the aliens' highly advanced technology. The government, can you hear the skepticism in my voice when I read the ones that I know aren't true? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the government has developed advanced aircraft and weapon systems at nearby Nellis Air Force Base, including stealth bombers and reconnaissance planes. And the government's official line? The details of Area 51 are classified for the purposes of national security. Right. So the conspiracy that I'm talking about here. So we all know that there is obviously a base there. Now, whether or well, not it's... Thanks to Clinton. Clinton was the first one to acknowledge its, its existence. Before, they were like, we don't know what you're talking yeah, about. There's no base there. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm literally looking at it right now. Like, I don't know what you're looking These at. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> right. Yeah, so... They tried to use the Jedi mind trick on us until... Yeah. Clinton finally acknowledged it. Yeah, that exactly. It so there's no question on whether the base is there. The conspiracy theory behind it mm -hmm. is that the it has an alien aircraft, right? Potentially those bodies, and they're reverse engineering that few advanced right. technology. Now, to, what are to help your us. thoughts on this? <laughs> well, so let's look at this a few different ways. After the supposed crash and the supposed capture <laughs> is yeah. when advancements in. Uh, fiber exactly. optics started to happen. Um, and then when there was a huge, huge technology. technological burst. Yeah, yeah. Huge microchip production and uh, design just absolutely skyrocketed. Because um, you got to think prior to this, or let's go back 100 years. 100 years ago versus 10,000 years ago, yeah. life wasn't much different. Yeah, no. No. Short All of, a of sudden, electricity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, a huge spike. Yep. The ability for cooling systems ha has dramatically increased microprocessing, um, data retention and in, in forms of microchips. Fiber optics is probably one of the most important things is, that has happened because it allows communications over Brings vast us distances. Brings us <laughs> <laughs> Hulu. Um, yeah. They, don't get me wrong. The past 100 years it has had more technological advances than the past 10,000 years combined yeah. for, for humanity and, yeah. as a whole. Yeah. There's no question. We wouldn't be having conversations about Hubble Space, tele tele <laughs> Hubble Space Telescopes or the new James Webb Telescope. It, none of that would have existed. Nothing if like that If we didn't have there. the light bulb, we'd be watching TV in the dark. <laughs> no. no, but nice. I mean, like, uh, as far as the Area 51, aliens, all that kind of shit, like, this is, this is something I have a huge fascination with. And I'm still, I'm still not sure where I'm at, but I'm obsessed with this crap. Like, this is thanks to my mom. My mom nice. is huge into this shit, you know, like aliens and fucking all, you know. And like, so it fascinates me. You know, I've been, I grew up always very interested in all this crap. And sweet. Any documentary that talks about it, I watch it, you know, and I'm always watching this UFO crap or A51 shit or whatever. And it's so fascinating. And some of the shit you watch. And it's funny because Jimmy is like my go to skeptic. Like, cause I'll discover something on YouTube and be like, holy shit. Like, and so I'll look more, I'll do more research on it, I'll look it up. And, and finally, I think, you know, like, this is nuts. Like, I'm not saying I'm a believer, but it's something to look into. And yeah, so no kidding. I'll tell Jimmy, Jimmy, hey, check this out. And within like seconds, he's like looking it up. And the first negative thing he sees, yeah, it's bullshit. I was like, well, yeah, you <laughs> is saw Jimmy's one favorite negative website thing. Snopes? Is that his favorite site? <laughs> I love Snopes too. No, it's not like on Snopes so much, but just like, as long as you find somebody somewhere that said no, then that's where he, what he's going with. Okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He doesn't believe anything, like never. He thinks everything is bullshit. So the conspiracy theory here that I want you to focus on, okay. not so much about aliens, all right? So let's let's ignore the aliens part. Okay. But advancements in technology, reverse engineering of some kind right. has come out of Area 51 specifically. Yeah. All right? So that's that's our conspiracy theory out of Area 51 is the technological advancements that have come out of that base and the research that they've, they've done there has been reverse engineered from somewhere. All right, so that's our, our conspiracy theory on Area 51. Not the aliens part. Okay, so yes, the idea of them cr crashed aliens in that part of the desert. Okay, got it. But something came out of that whole section that has advanced everyone in the world's ability to use th these technological advances. Mm -hmm. so, now, right. have you heard uh, this story? Keep going back. I can tell about this shit all night. No, it's fine. Don't get me drinking because holy shit, we'll talk about <laughs> it in here. Um, did you see that I was a press conference with the um the ex Secretary of Defense from Canada put out this like whole press conference saying that the United States is one hundred percent you know, they are 
They have aliens. They have alien technology. They're really? working with it. Yeah. He was like 100. They are absolutely doing this. And he couldn't do it until he had resigned from his position. Huh. No. Once he resigned, he went out there and was like, yeah, U.S. government, absolutely. They are doing this. They are 100% doing this. I'm telling you right now, it's happening. How credible was he? Has he ever had any kind of. No, it's just. Well, wackadoo. Secretary of Defense, you know, of Canada. <laughs> so, not, nothing really happens there. Yeah, so. not really. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot to do during his day to day job. <laughs> yeah. hmm. I don't know. All right. Interesting. Number two in the top 10 conspiracy theories with a twist chemtrails. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Some of these are going to frustrate you. All right, you know what a chemtrail is. Yes, but they're called contrails is what I like to call them. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> uh, so let me go over it for the listeners. Chemtrail conspiracy theorists believe that some chemtrails, which consist of ice crystals or water vapor condensed behind aircraft, actually result from chemicals or biological agents being deliberately sprayed at high altitude for some undisclosed purpose. It's for weather control, man. <laughs> Controlling the weather. Now, you know, I didn't put this one in here. Weather control was something absolutely that's a conspiracy theory that is true. So, well, they're talking about with chemtrails, right? This isn't this is this has nothing to do with the weather control agents that were released. So, <laughs> one of one of the things that the U.S. government has recently un uh, unclassified and released on, and they've done a fucking couple of shows on TV about it, uh-huh. was uh, weather seeding. So, seeding storms to produce larger uh, rain output. <laughs> They did this during Vietnam. This was recently released and talked about on A&E or something like that. Hmm. So they would put uh, certain agents inside. And this wasn't exactly chemtrailing. This was out of the back of a C-17 or C-27 or something. They had little hoses that were just dangling (laughs) out the back. And you saw this water or whatever it was coming out. And it was seeding the the clouds. So the ability to test weather control absolutely has happened. But this specifically is regarding uh, the chemtrails. And using some kind of biological or chemical agent uh, for some undisclosed purpose. Um, Big brother, man. That was that was number nine or eight or something so like that. People, because the reason why the people call them chemtrails because they're standing for chemical trails, but they're actually called contrails for condensation trails. Yep. Which is exactly what you just said in the beginning, where it's ice crystals from condensation. Right. That's all they are. And the reason why you see them sometimes and the reason why you don't see them other times, because it does all depend on the weather, the temperature that's up there, those altitudes. Humidity, pressure, everything. Right. All right. All right. So that was number two. And the number one, just just as you are fascinated with Area 51 and aliens and all that shit, I am fascinated equally so with this number one. Okay. All right. So the number one top ten conspiracy theories with a twist is specifically relating with this one occurrence that happened in 2004, but this topic in general. So Mm -hmm. is what I'm fascinated with, but we're going to talk about the 2004 situation. So the 2004 day after Christmas tsunami, do you remember that? Yeah. The one that hit, uh, the Island somewhere. (laughs) Yeah. I thought I wrote down specifically where it hit, but yeah, it hit, hit, uh, Indonesia essentially. Um, a popular theory in the Muslim world is that the tsunami could have been caused by an, Indian nuclear experiment in which Israeli and American nuclear experts participated. Several newspapers in Egypt and the Middle East allowed, excuse me, several newspapers in Egypt and the Middle East alleged that India, in its heated nuclear race with Pakistan, has acquired sophisticated nuclear technology from the U.S. and Israel, both of which showed readiness to cooperate with Indian experiments to extremists to exterminate mankind beginning with the heavily populated Muslim regions of Southeast Asia, where the bulk of casualties took place. If you remember, 220 some thousand people died during that tsunami. So the theory, the conspiracy theory behind this is, is that India planted nukes underground at the same time to instigate this earthquake to happen. So they found the right spots in the fault line, set the bombs, detonated it, which caused a chain reaction which raised the 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 uh, level of the the earth mm. what is it called the tectonic plate mm. shifted and caused the tsunami to happen wiping out 220,000 people that's a conspiracy theory behind it now I've i have never heard this before mm-hmm. aside of the conspiracy theory i am eerily fascinated with tsunamis i mean ridiculously fascinated every <laughs> every video really? that has ever surfaced on any kind of tsunami anywhere I've seen, I've read every post, every article, every, everything translated articles from other countries and read them. 
just because I have a weird, very strange fascination with those with tsunamis. <laughs> just like the one that happened in what 2008 in Japan, I I am just ridiculously uh, just fascinated. I don't like death. Don't get me wrong. I'm not fascinated with people dying or the massive numbers of right. casualties that happen. But I like to see. I'm 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 eerily attracted to what happens during a tsunami. How does the water go out? How does the land? Obviously, earthquake happened beforehand. How does the water come in? Does it come in in a giant? So you're like obsessed wave? with not obsessed, but well, you're very fascinated by the geology behind it all. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And there's just cool. the sheer magnitude and power that some of these things. Ha- I mean, the one that happened in Japan. I mean, both of them actually. But there was so much moving water. It wasn't necessarily moving fast. Some parts of it, yes, were very fast, but it was moving so powerfully that it just took entire buildings, uh, entire cities, entire towns, and just pulled them off of the face of the earth and rushed them back out to sea. That is an immense amount of power, and that mm-hmm. just absolutely fascinates me. It's nuts. So, I've never heard that before. So you're saying that India has nuclear capabilities now? India's had nuclear capability. I don't, I don't know. know. I, you know what? I no, that, that, no, because that made me think, and I was like, India though. India, India has nuclear capabilities. Yeah, which that that is Iran like, doesn't. That's the one I think you might be thinking of. Iran does no, not. No, I'm not thinking of it. No, that's why I was asking about India. I, mean, I don't care if India does. They're not really a threat. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right. So let me recap for you. All right, Tack. So two of these top ten conspiracy <laughs> theories with a twist are true. I'm going to go through them all really right, real quick just by title. Number ten, the moon landing. Number nine, Big Brother. Number eight, CIA created AIDS. Number seven, the Hollow Earth. Six is Planet X or Nibiru. Number five is 9-11. Number four is the Tuskegee Syphilis. Number three is Area 51. Number two is Kim or Comtrails. Number one is the 2004 tsunami. Based on that top ten list, which two do you think are true? And you'll win this lovely prize. <laughs> I'm holding my dick um, for listeners at home. <laughs> yeah. I am going to guess uh, the Tuskegee. Yep. Spot on. That is 100% true. Recently declassified. Now, I think those <clears> are declassified about eight or nine years ago. But yes, that is a very, very true thing that happened. And it's a very shameful thing for the government to have ever done. But it was true. I think that's actually, yeah, because I think I did hear that. She said CIA, right? Uh, I don't think I named a government agency in this. I don't think I could find that. No, I didn't name a government agency yeah, yeah. in this. Yeah, because yeah, that's, I think it, I heard about this because I was looking into something else as far as conspiracy theories, and they were talking about how the government already has a shady past already. Oh yeah, so absolutely. So B is no surprise if they were involved in nine eleven, kind of a thing, you know. Yep. Is um, that your number two? No, 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 no. no. Okay. <laughs> That's never going to be proven to be true, I don't think. It's like JFK thing. They're never going to prove that to be true either. Now, wouldn't the um, CIA AIDS one kind of be the same thing as Tuskegee thing? No, different. I know it's two different things, but it's yep. kind of the same thing. Well, it's the government being involved in some kind of uh, chemical testing on people. I mean, yeah, technically. I guess so. But that's not it, right? But that's up to you. It's up to you to decide. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Uh, the moon landing conspiracy is not based in any truth at all. So there you go. I eliminated one for you. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had, besides those two, what other ones were in the first five? Uh, moon landing, Big Brother, CIA and AIDS, Hollow Earth, Planet X, or Nibiru. Uh, let's go with Planet X. All right. Um, while the existence of this ninth new planet is a fact right now. NASA has proven it to be factual. Okay. It has nothing to do with the conspiracy theory behind Planet X or Nibiru. Nothing at all. So what are you saying? We're, there's no truth behind it being on a collision course? No. None at okay. all. But there is something out there. Yeah, there definitely is a planet. has nothing to do with Planet X or Nibiru. So is it really going to come through to where we can see it? Uh, Soon? potentially, but you and I will have been dead for oh. 10,000 years. Um, I'll go through them again. 2014 tsunami. Not true. Okay. Um, while it happened, it was not set off by <laughs> wait, wait, a wait. explosion. Uh, chemtrails. Not, not true either. Um, there is no proof or evidence that supports <laughs> the government's interference with biological or chemical, uh, weapons. Uh, Area 51, while there have been lots of things that have come out of Area 51, mm-hmm. um, it's none of it has been proven to be advancements in technology based on reverse engineering of any kind. 
So that's not true. Um, Tuskegee Airmen, or excuse me, the Tuskegee syphilis study is true. That's one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, 9-11, none of the evidence that has come out of it, other than skepticism out of the public, mm-hmm. has to do anything with the government being involved at all. Um, Planet X or Nibiru, not true. Completely false. Um, the Hollow Earth? Yeah, that was no, going to be my not, second cho- choice. N- not true at all. The Earth's molten core is a giant ball of hot liquid iron. So there's no there's no air bubbles that could be inside that at all. Um, a CIA created AIDS? Hey, that, nope, not true either. Uh, moon landing? You know that's not true. So, believe it or not, the COG or continuity of government has been in effect since 2011. Excuse, excuse me, since 2001. After 9/11, it went into action. So that's the Big Brother conspiracy theory. The Big Brother conspiracy theory, deep state or government in waiting or continuity of government conspiracy is 100% true. Now, can you re- remind me again on what it is that they do? Sure. It's the shadow government. So it's a government in waiting that steps in in case of any kind of major crisis inside the United States. It's, it's oh, to make sure yeah, the right. government is still functioning should it lose a head of state. So or they should like it lose... take over, yes. run the country. And then turn it back over once everything correct. Back to zero. It kicked in. It kicked in uh, during the attacks of September 11th. Who who runs this? Um, I don't have that information. So they they reside over the president too. I don't think it's over the president. I think it's until the president can get office back in line. I I don't know the answer to that question. That okay. leads us to more investigation after the show tech. Oh, all right. <laughs> so the two that are true, Big Brother. And yep. the Tuskegee syphilis study. All the rest yes. of them, uh, complete hokum, but they're fun to talk about. Well, they're not complete hokum. They just haven't been proven yet. So okay. There's not enough evidence. <laughs> you love to that convict. Area 51, don't you? You're just waiting for I'm it. I'm so fascinated by you want, it. You little green men are going to come visit you in your room tonight because uh, we talked about it. Well, don't scare me. <laughs> or excite me at the same time. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, what did you think of this week's uh, top ten list, Tack? It was good, man. You liked um, it? I'm going to give you a teaser. Oh, boy. Next week's oh top boy. ten list. I'm um, trying to figure out how to do this teaser. Um, I really don't want you to guess. Don't try to guess or anything. Okay, no. Just hear my thing and go, okay, all right. All right. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to do an impression. Okay. I'm going to attempt to do the impression. You can guess who the impression is. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, Marty. Oh, that's uh, – that's, um... Uh, 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 Dr. Fuck, what's his name from Back to the Future? Uh, yes, that's Doc Brown. Doc Brown. Jesus Christ, I can think of it. And that's it. That's all I'm going to give that's you. That's the teaser. That's the oh, teaser. Oh, fucker. All right. Well, cool deal. Uh, this has been episode number four of The Twisted Ten. Thank you guys for listening. We appreciate it. Give us some uh, some feedback on our Facebook page. That's The Twisted Ten on Facebook. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. Hopefully here soon in an upcoming episode, you'll hear from a couple guests, hosts that were <laughs> guests, hosts, guest hosts. hosts we're going to have on board and they're going to bring in their own top 10 list to uh, present to Tack and myself. And don't forget to uh, follow us on iTunes, subscribe, rate and, and, rate review. and review. Definitely. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll see you next week. See you.